Philippines is a country united and defined by the waters that both contain and divide it. With over 7,000 islands, it is an archipelago sustained by the ever-flowing waterways. From rivers to oceans, lakes, streams, waterfalls, and the eternal promise of rain. Located in northeastern Mindanao, Caraga consists of five provinces. Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur, Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur, and the Dinagat Islands. Nowhere else could you find one of the country's largest freshwater wetland, the largest mangrove swamp, widest waterfalls, and deepest river all in one region. Just a quick plane ride away, Caraga is the ultimate destination that will slake the thirst of any aquafile adventurer. Let's dive in to Surigao. Surigao is divided into Surigao del Norte, including Shargao Island and Surigao del Sur. While Surigao del Norte is world famous for its island Shargao, the surf capital of the Philippines, the province also offers a serene experience in its protected marine sanctuaries off the coast of Del Carmen. Glide through the peaceful mangrove swamp where you can see fishermen on authentic old-fashioned wood-carved canoes reeling in their catch for the day. Indeed, some of the freshest and fattest seafood around. A simple crab farm in the mangrove swamps can grow crabs up to one kilo. Drifting onwards, you come to the Sugba Lagoon, an environmentally protected area, free of logging and dynamite fishing. Entering the lagoon brings a sudden sense of tranquility, where the only sounds are the gentle lapping of water and birds chirping. The clear, calm waters are simply inviting for a refreshing snorkel swim or a smooth kayak ride. Off Sharkal Island, a two-hour boat ride takes one to Bukas Grande Island, a marine sanctuary home to the Sohotan Cove. This uninhabited island is a haven for thousands of non-poisonous jellyfish that float silently to the surface as your boat glides by. Aside from swimming with jellyfish, one can also enjoy hiking, snorkeling, caving, and kayaking in Sohotan. On to mainland Surigao del Norte, a two-hour ride from Surigao City takes you to the quaint town of Higakit. The name comes from the Visayan words gigad, meaning shore, and gakit, meaning bamboo raft, as early settlers would travel by raft from the river to the shore. Until today, the waterways are still used for transportation, as pump boats are the vehicle of choice. On summer days, a relaxing boat ride down the Baoi River takes you on a nostalgic trip with towering limestone cliffs and lush foliage as the backdrop. Right by the Baoi River is the Kuyapnit Cave, historically famous as sanctuary for rebels during World War II. During high tide season from October to December, the Baoi River transforms into a gushing rafting adventure for an adrenaline-driven high. Coasting on down south to Surigao del Sur, we come to the adventurers Shangri-La by the Pacific. Let's begin in the town of Lanusa, frequent recipient of the Clean and Green Award in the Philippines. It's not hard to see why, as the natural beauty that has been so well preserved in Lanusa speaks for itself. One of the most popular sites around town is Duot Poktoy where the annual Lanusa International Surfing event is hosted. Surf season swings in from September to December, so be ready to grab a surfboard and paddle out. In fact, might as well make it a custom-made, eco-friendly bamboo surfboard made here. Just a splash away from the action-packed wave riding is the more relaxing Magawas Falls. Tucked away in the heart of 55 hectares of protected forest, the Magkawas Falls spills itself over into a man-made rock basin. A quick dip in the freshwater pool is a rejuvenating delight, while the waterfall transforms itself into a soothing aqua massage. Even the fish need time to get away as Lanusa is home to the fish sanctuary, which is 155 hectares of marine protected area. 
A watchtower overlooks the ocean as the local fishermen take turns keeping a watch out for any illegal fishing activities. The fish sanctuary is a haven for aquatic life, as well as travelers who can stop by the sanctuary cafe to grab some refreshments and wind down on a balcony overlooking the still yet ever alive ocean. South of Lanusa, you'll find Kagwait White Beach. This white sand cove offers plenty of accommodation and lots of peace and quiet. The most unique thing about this island is that it is the only white sand beach in the area. In fact, it was discovered by the renowned explorer Charles Lindbergh when he spotted the cove from his plane as it was the only white sand cove amongst the neighboring dark sand beaches. Another white sand beach paradise awaits in San Agustin, where you will find the Britannia Islets or the Kissing Islets. This cluster of fine sand islands is made up of 12 islets at high tide and up to 24 islets at low tide. It's just perfect for a day of island hopping where you can soak up the sun rays, search for shells, or have a picnic on the beach. Hinatuan holds one of the world's best kept secrets deep within its landscapes. Nestled among the rocky cliffs and deep green foliage lies a pool of liquid sapphire known as the Enchanted River. Interestingly enough, the reason why it has been called Enchanted is because nobody has been able to catch a single fish from the river. Miraculous fish aside, one breathtaking glimpse at the tantalizing blue water is enough to explain why it is indeed Enchanted. In case you haven't had enough of this watery adventure, Bislig generously offers two seasons, wet and wetter. Its lush landscape is home to the widest waterfall in the Philippines, the Dinuyan Falls. Spanning 95 meters wide and 55 meters tall, this multi-tiered majesty is nothing short of magnificent. Draped with lavish greenery and a fine mist in the air, the Tinoyan Falls makes a cool getaway for bird watching, trekking, swimming, and picnicking. Finally, we come to the Agusan provinces. Getting its name from the word Agos, meaning where the water flows. Surely enough, here you will find the longest river in Mindanao and the third longest in the entire Philippines, the Agusan River in Agusan del Norte. In between Surigao and Butuan lies the deepest lake in the Philippines, Lake Mainit. Also the fourth largest in the country, this placid, pear-shaped lake is a haven for wild ducks and seasonal blossoms of water lilies and hyacinths. Virtually unspoiled and pristine, Lake Mainit possesses a naturally unique and diverse ecosystem, consisting of both hot and cold springs in its tributaries. Another major river is the Hibong River in Agusan del Sur. Much of the population is clustered around these riverbanks as the locals depend on these rivers as a resource for transportation and livelihood. So integral are these waterways to the inhabitants of Agusan that there still remains a small population of Manobo tribes people who have permanently built their floating homes in the heart of the Agusan Marsh. One of the largest wetlands in the Philippines, the Agusan Marsh is approximately 15,000 hectares, or about the size of Metro Manila. A protected wildlife sanctuary, this vast freshwater catch basin wetland provides food and shelter for an array of flora and fauna. Caraga is overflowing with adventure and exploration. This is where you will find enchanting waterways, captivating caves, magnificent waterfalls, and beautiful white sand beaches all in one region. Nothing else quite compares to the unrivaled landscapes and waterway adventures that Caraga has to offer. Yeah.